Lithium-ion chemistry uh, and batteries are the, are the batteries of choice today. They are used for powering consumer electronic applications. Um, the next big one is, 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 is of course transportation. Uh, but as we go forward, lithium-ion batteries, although there's a little headroom there for some improvements, we have to find alternative systems those that are perhaps based on metallic lithium that are going to give us uh, the greater energies. Obviously, if electric vehicles are going to make an impact in the transportation sector, we have to get um, electric vehicles to go a little bit further than what they can do today to make them competitive with the internal combustion engine. And batteries today just don't have the intrinsic energy per unit mass or per unit volume to become competitive. Um, we've got to be able to pack more energy into a smaller space and use lighter materials. And I think that's really where you're going to see um, advances made in the next 10 to 15 years. One of the strongest attributes that we have here at Argonne is that we're, we're networked um, right across the United States and we're networked uh, right across the world. We're, we're well linked into the, uni the university system. Uh, we're well worked into the national lab system. We run an uh, Energy Frontier Research Center here at uh, Argonne, and we're capitalizing on, on that right now. Um, and I think that Argonne uh, is extremely well positioned to make a major contribution in the uh, immediate future and uh, hopefully in future generations.